Hello, good day to you. The sun is shining, the sun is shining, the weather is sweet. Oh, did not it make a difference? Don't it make a difference? Don't know why I've got my gilet on, I don't know. It is sensational out there. Went for a lovely walk along the beach today. We did, we did, we did. I hope you are all well. Welcome to this week's vlog. It is currently Wednesday. And I randomly thought I'd just pick up the camera here and now, sitting in the car park. I've just picked up three parcels from Next. I haven't told Ian about these yet. Um, I was gonna say he'll find out when the vlog goes out, but to be honest, he'll see the parcels at home. I mean, I haven't got loads, don't get me wrong. I will show you what I've purchased when I get home, but basically I'm a sucker for anything with a peach on it. Obvious reasons. So next they've got me by the short and curlies at the moment, I'm not gonna lie, because everything is peach based. And I'm loving that. Hope you are all well and dandy. I hope you're all having a bloody lovely week. Welcome to this week's vlog. Let's go sunshines. I look nuts. I look how I feel. Um, baby's down. Ian's on lates. It's just you and me, baby. Um, should we do my next order? Let's. My hair looks nuts, two seconds. I feel like it looks all right in real life. Let's do the trunchable. Oh, babe's crying. Great start to the evening. Lovely follower of mine sent me this, and I get this quite a lot. Whenever anyone sees anything with a peach on it, they send it to me. Please keep doing that, although my bank balance hates you, but I love you. Hold up. The lunatic keeps going like widthways on her cot, like she keeps shimmying around and it gets like her head stuck on the wooden bars. Lunatic. Anyway, so like I said, someone sent me this. I just can't not get it. So then I, then I just put like peach into the search bar of whatever shop I'm on and I have to buy everything. Two Eyes has no idea that I've got this, by the way. Um, and basically the plan is to change the colour scheme in the lounge, change all the cushions. Now, the other cushions, I can get cushion covers off Sheen. So technically I'm not paying for anything. But this, oh my God. Are you ready? Oh my God, it's like the law as well. Wowie. The peachy colour is like a velvet. And this is gold, gold beads. Like, tell me how I can't order that. Or do I put this in the bedroom, actually? Like on the bed, maybe I'll do that. Might do that, actually. So I might have to change the bedding as well. <laughs> Next, literally, this is from Next. <laughs> so, what a wonderful excuse to get some peachy hand towels. Hand towels. I only got one, to be fair. And then I thought, well, I've got to get a bath towel as well to go with it, haven't I? I can't dry my hands with a peach towel and not my body. Ha! <laughs> that would be ridiculous. I do like Next for their towel quality. I do. Oh, there's one more thing in this bag. No, stop. You know what, I'm actually really proud of myself for not getting these in every single size available. Peach sandals. I've got 18 to 24 months, which is gonna be, well, they might be a tad big actually. They look huge. I'm fuming that her feet are ever gonna be that big. Fuming. Um, so I'm hoping they will fit for the honeymoon, but I thought if they don't, well, they'll fit for like next summer, obviously. I just buy a smaller size as well. I mean, I mean. One more parcel. Now Goldie's that little bit bigger and she's an absolute wriggle monster. It's like so hard to get her dressed, particularly at bedtime because I've put her Aveeno eczema cream on her and she's just a slippery little sucker. And then she's wriggling all over the place. So I am done with button up sleep suits. 
I'm done with them. Zip up only for me, thank you. And I really like the next ones, like really like, like I've got, she's in her six to nine ones now. So I got some nine to 12 in, you guessed it, the peach thing. So there's a peachy one. They're all connected. There's two peachy ones. Actually, I feel like that's an orange. That's an orange, that's a peach, and then like a green spot. gorgeous and they're really lovely they're a double zip up as well so when you change the nappy you, you just go from the bottom um rather than having to get the old thing out yeah sensational oh, i can't go over these so that my friends is my order from next slowly but surely throughout the week the parcels are coming in from sheen and then i'll just do one big haul i've actually seen a really cute um swimsuit on next as well but I've got a couple of Sheen and I don't need it, but I saw it on Megan Grubb's vlog. Well, her little her little babe Winnie was wearing it. It's from Next. It's like a blue flowery daisy one. Obviously obsessed with daisies. I feel like this is my signature jumper. Um, I have actually ordered another one from Sheen because this one's getting a bit like bobbly. So this will be my shit one and then I'll have a decent one. Well, let's have a kappa. Um, grab a cup of tea, let's have a chat, friends. I fell into a Facebook group hole last night and ended up in tears. I did. And this is how it started. So I I have been part of a Facebook group um, since Goldie was born, really, but I haven't fully looked at it um, until last night. Basically, it's called Car Safety... No, Car Seat Safety UK, right? Obviously, a car seat safety group does what it says on the tin and I was happy with our car seat purchase when Goldie was born so yes I was part of the group but I haven't fully looked at it which I'm now embarrassed about hands up um, and I went on it last night because although she's not grown out of hers yet she will maybe towards the end of the year and I just thought oh, I'm just going to go on there see what people recommend or see what see what this is all about um, because I do see regular posts come up on my feed which I find interesting, of um, everyone's kids, like their fit in their car seat. So they'll put a picture up and they'll say, can you check the fit of my babe? Um, and then the admin, the specialists, the car seat specialists will comment and say little tweaks that they need so that it's a better fit for their child, right? Um, so I started scrolling and having a look at these posts and looking through the comments to learn, to sort of see on the photo if I saw anything that needed tweaking and I very quickly learned how little I know about car seat safety right and just my stomach was dropping my heart was just like pounding and I thought fuck I then to take it that step further and make me feel even more shit put in the search bar of this Facebook group our car seat brand and model, right? Just because I thought I want to see pictures of other babies in this and, and what they think of their fit. Anyway, long story short, it's not a car seat they recommend. Um, and I'll be honest with you, I haven't been 100% happy with the car seat, but when it's clicked in place and she's all in and all the green indicators are there, so I kind of naively thought, well, must be all right then. But yeah, apparently not. I don't want to be an ignorance is bliss type person. I want to know the information. I want to do the best for Goldie, be the best mum I can be. And, and if that scares the shit out of me sometimes, then so be it because I learned something from it, right? Which is why I'm telling you this and raising the awareness. Um, and I'm trying to be bold with this because I always get very scared of offending anyone or upsetting anyone and that I promise you is not my intention. I'm not here to judge anyone at all. Um, and I'm also not here to tell you what to do, what to buy, anything like that. Like I'm not gonna tell you the brand that we've got or that we're gonna get because ev every baby is different. Everyone's got a different car. Every There's so many variables, right? So I'm not here to do that or to judge. But I do want to raise awareness because I wish I'd looked at this group sooner and if there's just like one thing that you can learn from it, then that's a positive in my in my in my mind. So, like I say, just 
be aware that it is really intense, but I highly recommend joining the Facebook group, Car Seat Safety UK. You can put your brand in the search bar if you want. <laughs> um, if you want to feel really shit. No, yours might be absolutely fine, obviously. Things that they advocate on this group are Swedish tested cars. And I naively didn't really realise that the car seat testing in the UK is shit. I just thought, well, you know, if it's past the UK one, it must be okay. But there are so many awful car seats that are on the market. Um, and you just don't believe that that could be a thing. And it is, it really, really is. Um, the other thing they're huge advocates for is rear facing seats all the way up until, I mean, some of them are like seven, but like minimum age four, if you can age five, again, it depends on height and weight of your child mainly, not just age. Um, and of course, that's different. We're unfamiliar with it and we don't like different as a society. So the instant thing is like, where will their legs go? Um, but some of these seats are incredible for a start. The kids, the older kids, like the pictures of the older kids that I've seen, they look really comfortable. The stats of rear facing crashes compared to forward facing are, are so, the contrast in them is so astronomical. For me personally, and like I say, zero judgment, you do you boo, it's a no-brainer to keep Goldie rear-facing for as long as possible. Um, I don't know how long that's going to be, but as long as possible is, is what's going to happen in our car. I'm saying this with kindness. I... Oh my God, there's a cat in our garden. We don't have a cat. Ian's actually scared of cats. He would, he would have lost his shit because it was right, because you can't really see much out there. And then it was right there. <laughs> he would have lost his shit if he was here. <laughs> anyway, I hope that comes across with good intention because it really, really is. I'm such a warrior and I'm such a people pleaser. Um, but I'm trying to be stronger in a non-judgmental way to get my opinions across on my platforms um i need to be strong for goldie even though i've got a lot to learn like just from last night i'm now so aware of the lack of information for new parents or parents in general of how to fit your child safely into a car seat is things like they really shouldn't wear a, a coat in a car seat they really, really shouldn't. Like, I would rather Goldie be cold for 30 seconds transferring her from a car to a house than take the risk of her having padding underneath her straps. I am not the expert. I am not here to give the advice. Just raise the awareness. Charles, how many times have you said awareness in the last 10 minutes? <laughs> anyway, that's all I'm gonna say on the matter. Um, I, I think what we're gonna do is buy a new car seat because I was gonna get one at the end of the year anyway and the next one lasts until she's about six-ish, something like that. So I'm just getting it earlier. So I'm not wasting any money, I'm just spending it sooner. But also in my mind, her safety is absolutely priceless. So we're gonna go on Sunday to have a car seat fitting, like a consultation where um, we're a specialist. We'll look at our car, look at Goldie, and give us, give us different options, brand options, budget options, etc. And then I will sleep at night. God, it's such a worry, isn't it, being a parent? Anywho, I'm gonna drink my cup of tea, make some dinner. Um, I'm gonna sit down and chill, and I'm not gonna to cry tonight. I'm not. No tears over here. Ah, good day to you. I literally have a cinnamon swirl on my head. Mama knackered today. I'm a little zombie and I've got a little screecher on my hands. Who doesn't want a nap? I really, really wanted to do yoga in her afternoon nap. And it just didn't happen. This is <laughs> this is the only thing that's chilling her out, to be honest, although she's getting a bit fed up of that in there. Um, but it's okay, I can do yoga tonight um, when she's gone to bed. I just don't like doing it then, because I'm just pooped and I just want to chill. Um, and I want to do like a strong yoga, I don't want to do a relaxing, stretchy yoga, you know what I mean? Anyway, I'll do that later. I am holding myself accountable. I'll put myself on a time lapse and do it. I've said it now.
walked around to a friend's this afternoon for a cup of tea which was so nice I just needed to like get out and um seeing her little ones who are like my godchildren uh, just always give me joy anyway and she's currently potty training her middle one her middle babe um so she was just like toddling around pants off <laughs> with like a little necklace on <laughs> you know when you're just like oh epic like what a life yeah so that brought me some joy um but other than that it's, a, it's been a really nothing day i really wanted to mow the lawn i know i did you know you haven't done that and it's gonna rain tomorrow as well so it'll be too wet to do but hopefully i'll find a little moment i'm gonna give her some dinner in a minute um i say dinner we are still on very small amounts of just food tasting to be honest um she's definitely getting over that hurdle though of just like gagging at everything and just spitting everything out like she is she's she's leaning forward she's opening her mouth more and like wanting actual food now but then she's still unsure and she's not taking much like after a good few mouthfuls she's like not interested anymore so still not in the massive foodie stage but um but we're getting there i'm doing something at breakfast every day and something at dinner is all i'm doing and then obviously I haven't dropped any feeds or anything yet. In fact, we're feeding more, aren't we, darling? Yeah, yeah, we are. Right, I will catch in with you later. When she down and it's yoga time. Well, I did it and I got there in the end. Of course, halfway through she um, started screaming. <laughs> I tried putting her dummy in, came back down, that didn't work. So I might have fed a baby halfway through, but I got a yoga session in. It just feels so good to just stretch your body, move your body, feel like hold your body as well. Like I love reminding myself of what a good friggin' posture is. Like it just feels amazing, like a deep squat and just a plank hold. And I thought that I'd feel like weak as anything, but then I kind of realized, well, I do hold and pick up an eight and a half kilogram lump all day, every day. <laughs> I said that to Ian the other day, I was like, you do realize as a mother, having a baby is strength training. Because all day you're just like picking up, picking up. He laughed at me. But it's true. Always just reminds me to breathe. A session like that is going to be the nearest thing I get to not overthinking and have having a million tabs open in my head. Which I do definitely currently have. Along with some pain behind my eyes. I love like a glute stretch. Felt good that did. If you needed a nudge, this is your sign to go and do whatever workout you enjoy the most. Guys, I'm very excited. I feel like an official influencer now because guess what? I got a PR package today. Sorry, a PR package. So this company contacted me um, to see if I was interested to give their products a try. I had a little looky and I was like, absolutely one that's a bit of me and two it's ideal for the baby era that we are in so this look at this box it's quite heavy Ooh, called your day just got a lot better um this is from nimble babies so this company do cleaning products essentially there's six products that they do in total i'll show you them all um but that are suitable for family suitable for babies so they're not toxic at all um no, no nasty chemicals or anything like that. This is all like plant-based, it's allergen free, all made in the UK, obviously not tested on animals. So I'll show you everything, but yeah, check out their socials at Nimble Babies. Oh, I love this. 
Dear Chelsea, I can't wait for your family to experience Nimble's plant-based products. Nimble will be landing in 500 Tesco baby aisles and on tesco.com.com starting next week. Um, and I know that they have 30% off as well until the 31st of March. So if you want to give it a try, you might as well try it with 30% off. So I highly recommend that. Please spread the love to your community. I would love to. And I love this. Ron, who is the founder and dad of three. So here we have the six items. Oh, Christ. So we've got Laundry Lover, so baby detergent, fight stains, plant based. Do you know what I really love about this as well? And I saw this when I was stalking their Instagram. On the packaging, because I'm, I'm a bit of a sucker for like marketing, um, they use these really cute like baby pictures. I just love that. It's a bit of me, that is. So up to 45 washes, which is really good for that kind of like small bottle. So I'm assuming a lot goes a long way. Obviously it has all the tips and directions on the back. I'm going to give it a little whiff actually, because I love the smell of stuff. Ooh, that's really like light and fresh. Nice. Um, they've also got a baby fabric softener, exactly the same size. Um, I don't use fabric softener. I currently use a non-bio detergent. Hello there, two eyes. Hello. Um, I obviously use uh, non-bio, but I don't use a fabric softener because I don't want like a perfumey thing. I do want our clothes to be fair, but not on babes. Oh, again, nice. So yeah, now I can start using a fabric softener and maybe her clothes will be softer. Um, so that's cool. Sticky Stopper Antibacterial Cleaner. Um, so this is a disinfectant which is bleach free so like high chairs toys changing mats potties and floors which is great and you don't have to like rinse anything off you can literally just like spray and wipe which i, I like as well very nice and then we have actually a specific potty cleaner antibacterial spray up to 250 washes and again for changing mats floors and nappy bins i'm not at potty training yet but I'm sure I'll use it on other things before then. They've also got a germ zapper hand sanitizer. Apparently it dries quickly and leaves no sticky residue, which is nice. And then finally, a milk bust a milk buster baby bottle cleaner. <laughs> got a cute babe on the front of that. <laughs> cute. So good for like um breast milk and forming milk, breast pumps, utensils, sippy cups, things like that. This is amazing because Obviously we're at the weaning stage and I don't like putting anything in the dishwasher. I hand wash all of Gigi's stuff. And I just use washing up liquid, but sometimes the perfume can be a bit soapy, especially on like the silicone stuff. So this is gonna be amazing for that. It, and it says you can just use a few sprays in um, your bottle and like shake it. You don't even necessarily need a brush. Very good, very good. This is pretty epic. I am very, very grateful for this. So yeah, have a look yourself. And like I said, I've got 30% off at the moment until the 31st of March in Tesco stores. Um, I haven't been paid to say this, but they have kindly gifted me these to try out, which I'm very excited to do. So thank you so much, Nimble Babies. So it's Saturday, the weather ain't got a clue what it's doing. It's raining one minute, sunny the next, but at the moment it's sunny. We are gonna do a Sheen haul. Now, not everything has arrived, it has not, but trust me when I say enough has. So what we're gonna do is a big Sheen haul of hit or shit. Might try a few bits on, might just show you, cause I, you can tell when you get out of the packaging if it's shit, but if it looks like it's a hit, I might little, have a little try on for you. Christ, I'm overwhelmed already, but let's go. Just picked up the first one. This is a little black dress for me. Looks too big, looks very scratchy. And also, there's already a pearl missing. Unfortunately, it's shit. Go out in the shit pile. That's the shit pile. Not gonna try this on because it is what it is. I like it. I think it might be a tiny bit see-through, but with a white bra, when I actually start wearing bras again, um, I really like the color on that actually. I think that's a hit. I'll just go with some cute little jeans, you know? I majorly need to sort out all my clothing. A lot of it is still maternity or or bigger sizes from when I was pregnant last year. Actually, I got these last year, but I got these in a medium. Um, so now I've ordered them in a small. So there's four 
The white one is very see-through, I'm not going to lie, but it comes in a pack of four. And I've got a blue one, which I think is really cute. They are slightly cropped, but everything I wear is high-waisted anyway. So they're a hit. So I thought this was a really cute idea, but when I told Ian that I did it, he was like, absolutely not. So I've got some like, matching pyjamas for the wedding. <laughs> So it's just like literally like a white, this this is Ian's, this is like men's medium. Oh, is this my delivery man? I think I've got another delivery coming, that's embarrassing isn't it? And bottoms. Do you know what, they're actually alright, but they are they are a waste because Ian's like absolutely not going to wear them. So I will return them. Next. Right. I love the look of these. I think a lot of people will be absolutely horrified by them. Right, obviously not matching the jumper. I love these, but they are a tiny bit short. Really liked them as well. Well, they're not shit. They're not shit, but they're short. Oh, a door. <gasps> How cute is that? That is a big hit. Highly recommend. But I did get Gigi loads of bits. Let's have a look. Oh, they're really cute actually. 9 to 12 little vests but they do like little bows at the top but they are just fake bows which is good because if they were real ones that she could undo all the time that would be really annoying and it comes in four colours so white, black, beige and pink they're a hit people now these I can already tell are shit I always find, I love zippers, sleep suits but I always find from cheap sites they're so beyond thin shit they're going back. See these? Oh my god, these are winner winner chicken dinner. So sleep suits, but they're a really nice cotton. You've got a sunshine one and a couple of strawberries. Very sweet. Oh, really like them. Hit. Really loving my stripes at the moment. Oh god, that's horrendous. Isn't it so weird that other top? That is amazing, stunning. This is a piece of crap. It's a no from me, pal. So I wanted like a snowsuit for Goldie next year. And it looks really cute, want it for warmth, don't we, a snowsuit? No. No. Shit! These are horrendous. Oh my God, it's like nylon leotard material this is this is giving grade three ballet no i did not realize that that was the material huh just just feeling the material actually gives me the shivers they've got a peach on them oh see these are amazing these are 100 percent cotton you just need to make sure with sheen if you want cotton make sure it's 100 percent cotton otherwise you're gonna get some weird nylon stuff how cute is that so just little short sleeve vests, 100% cotton with peaches all over it. Like I actually might go back and get more sizes of them. Major hit, happy with those. These look absolutely horrendous, but I'm gonna try them on just to make sure that they are horrendous. Good Lord, it's a no. I mean, it's a little bit big anyway, but I don't know actually, maybe if it did fit, if it did fit, maybe that would be all right. But obviously I'm thinking honeymoon vibes for this. Also still a bit short. Why is all Sheen stuff short? But yeah, no. Now this, I actually think is really quite cute. I need a belt. It needs something around here to like cinch that in a bit. God, I never wear dresses and I just feel so it just does not feel right. But yeah, this one is keepsies for the honeymoon. Excuse my pasty legs. I bought this dress, right, for my hen do, thinking, you never know. It's actually incredible. It's actually a really decent heavy dress. The back's got a bow on it. Not that I've done the bow up right at all, but I just quickly did it off the back. I'm going to return it because one, it's actually really heavy and hot and my hen do's at the end of July, so that's not gonna go bode well. Also, it's extremely short. So as soon as I lift my arms up, arse cheeks out to absolutely everybody. But 
it's not shit. I'm not gonna keep it, but it's not shit. Well done, Sheen. I fear it's a tiny bit see-through, so I might have to put some like nipple covers on. Um, but look, how cute. It's giving Maldives. So, it's a hit. Well, let's just say like the honeymoon attire is going well. Um, this is a really strange material when I got it out. It's really stretchy and it is a little bit kind of lycra vibes, but on, it feels really nice. Again with the low back, I am here for it. I love it. So I'm gonna keep that one as well, if you don't mind. Now this is cute as hell, but I feel it's a bit itchy. Shane, gonna wanna wear a bit. Shit. Perfect. So I've just got four plain white bodysuits, 100% cotton, long sleeved. Yeah, so the key is 100% cotton. Stop. <gasps> See, they're amazing. They're not a denim, but they're a thick, but they're quite a thick quality. Look at the flowers, like, could that be more me? Like, I want them in my size. Adore. Keep. Black jeans with daisies down one leg. Behave. Hit. I thought this was going to be crap, but it's really cute. So it's just a little vest and it crosses over at the back. Um, but yeah, it's got little flowers on it, but they're actually... They almost look like fully embroidered. Love a scrunchie. And these are actually quite, quite cute. They're just black and white. They're, the elastic's quite good on them, actually. I love the flower one, obviously. And then a little spotty one. Thank you. And now I've got to sort out all the mess and all the piles, the take back stuff, the rubbish and the fold away. Um, I think that was probably about half and half. I've still got loads more stuff to come in the post. Um, so there will be another haul on next week's vlog. Um, but this was, a, this was a good amount to do now. But yeah, probably half was shit, half was a hit. But the hit stuff was a real hit. And the shit stuff was real shit. So it's Saturday. We're gonna have um, some yummy food tonight. I'm gonna do some like homemade burgers or something. I need to go out and get some buns and cheese. But, um, but yeah, we're gonna have a yummy dinner tonight. I have just had such a good sort out. It feels so good. Uh, so I've got a big old pile of maternity clothes, which I'm gonna vacuum pack and save for the next round. Um, I've got two bags of items to return. So I'll take those um, to the every shop tomorrow. I've got a couple of piles of Goldie's bits because she's still napping, what a legend. So I'll put her bits in there when she's awake. It's the little things. It really is the little things, isn't it? Stunning. I'm sorry, but how fun is vacuum packing? a hole in it somewhere. Yes. <laughs> Massive hole. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. I only literally need to do one sticker. Print. God, I just love it. Stunning. You watching mummy? How bad is it? You know when you start a job? Yeah. Like this morning, I just, the sun is out and spring has sprung. I was like, I'm going to push the house, do some bits and bobs. I'm still in my pyjamas and I basically can't stop. Well, we were supposed to be going out at 12. I know. All right, don't show everyone my minion sofa. That's disgusting. How? So my best friend Stacey has really long, dark hair and I find her hairs everywhere. That, Stace, don't know if you can see it. That must have been about the six Isn't millionth it? one that we found in um, those days. Goldie, tell mummy to hurry up, because daddy is bored. Yeah, dad is bored, and he wants to go for his long walk. Ladies and gentlemen, Chelsea now has a hole in her pyjama bottoms. Oh, I do. Oh, that's disgusting. And it's gotten big. That's 
That's really bad. That is really bad. Oh, I did some new piano, so these are going to go in the bin. They don't even fit me anymore. Mummy's wasting away. Goldie. Being a mother. It's because you decide to feed about 17,000 times during the night. Baba, if you want the camera, you've got to come get it. Come to it. Come to it. Come on. Crawl. Stop being soft. Crawl. Crawl. No, we're not playing those games. You're not getting it if you cry. Crawl. Crawl. Yeah. Go on. Go on. You want it? Go on. Push. Push. You can do it. Don't give up. I'm gonna go do the thing. What? I wanna go. BRB. Bicarbonate of soda and hot water, which I've soaked this. And where have you learned this ha um, I hack? I don't know. And then look, I've got a saucepan lid. And supposedly, you just go up and down. Do you know what I really like? I like the lines in the sofa going on right now. I know, that's the thing, that's what people do. What, so they do all this just to get lines in the sofa? Oh my god, that's unbelievable. I know. I need lines. Oh, Look at that. Wow. Oh. And then I'm going to go over with like a fabric freshener, which is going to... I don't know if I should put like a disinfectant in right, Stop talking, well. carry on with your job. Well, I need to go and get the bowl again. Oh my, it looks like a sun. <gasps> it looks like a fucking mermaid shell. Oh my god, it's sensational. Oh, Show everyone how cute your feet are. Chubby little feet. Chubby little feet. Right, now I'm going to fabric. Ooh! Fresh. What's that face? What have you done now? Oh my god, no. What, what, what is going on now? Oh, I need to put this in the washing machine. <sighs> I can't not wash these. <sighs> So the revised time for us going out is one o'clock. Because I don't need, I'm just, I'm just stripping this. And now she's stripping things. I don't need to, but they will dry, the sofa will dry whilst we're out. We are having the most delightful Sunday stroll. It was a nice view at the top, I should have vlogged it up there, but... We're bouncing, yeah, we're really good. I was enjoying the moment too much. In the present, as they say. Yeah. But yeah, we're having a lovely walk. We've just had a good old nosy as well at a load of new build houses that have gone up. Because um, as Belton you know, we, we, love a, we love a nosy at a house. So we had a little stroll through there as well, didn't we? We did. Nice estate, nice and like quiet. Sims-like. Yeah, it did look like Chelsea. Sims, didn't it? Yeah. You thought it looked quite American, but... Um, because it was just so new. There yeah. was something so new and it doesn't it was look shiny. like real. Yeah. Having a look about. Having a look about. <laughs> it... She slept for ages. Slept for a good hour on the way up. So, Two Eyes and I just having this convo of what would, what would you do with a million pounds if you got given or inherited, I don't know, or earned um, a million pounds, what would you do with it? We have these conversations all the time. Would you just like bunk it or would you just buy a fucking massive house would you give it away to people what would you do what would you do what did you say you'd do um if i got given a million or maybe yeah million, oh, invest well, it yeah <laughs> invest it 100 percent. you wouldn't want to well you'd probably give some away to who well friends family oh obviously yeah you'd help or out like, any, like have a family have stuff a fuck like off that. like holiday yeah but, that you'd um, pay for. But no, like, no, you, you, I just But the majority, it. yeah, yeah. Stocks, yeah. shares, yeah. you know, make your money work for I wouldn't, you. I wouldn't buy a house outright. Oh God, no. Like for us. Okay. Do you know what I would do, actually? I hope this isn't too windy and that you can hear this. I would, I've got a million pounds, even if we didn't own a house at this point, I would buy five houses, I'd put 200 grand down on each house, as like a really hefty deposit um, and then obviously mortgage the rest of it depending on the house value um, for buy to lets and then get rent rent them out and then the profit because obviously they'd cover your mortgage and then the profit that you'd make on top of that 
would pay for our life. Yeah. That would be our income and would pay for our rented, pro ro rented property at the time. Yeah, I think I'd do Good that, one. you know. And then over time, you just start purchasing more, don't you? Yeah, exactly. Because you, you, you need to hold on to those houses for at least 10 years for one, like, you know, someone else to be paying off your mortgage, but also the property would increase in value over those 10 years. And then maybe you could sell a couple and put that money down and flip a house and start flipping because then that's quicker profit, isn't it? Obviously, and like more, chunkier. that's enjoyable that as well though, isn't it? Yeah. Like imagine you're taking a house, flipping it, selling it, and going on to the next one, a bigger one. Yeah. Well, that'd be pretty cool. But basically, there's no point in just buying a million pound house and not and being mortgage free on it oh. when you could <laughs> buy five houses someone else pays your mortgage so it's an investment that will increase over time but the profit on that will pay for a decent enough house well you want to turn that million pound into more money don't yeah you? so you have to make you have to find because a million pound isn't that much no, isn't not, in this not, day and age not, not, not in the grand scheme is it? like it th that not could go quickly here. is what i mean <laughs> Um, no, in down south. Not down south, no. Yeah. Oh, we love these conveys. We love these conveys all the time. Cash flow is the one. Cash flow's king. Cash flow's king. You were that, didn't you? Cash flow's king. Mm hmm, honey. Oh, here's that estate. We had a little nosy round earlier. <laughs> really does look like the Sims. Good evening, everybody. Coming at you on a Sunday evening. It's sausage and mash night. You say it like we have it, like. Like it's a week. weekly yeah. tradition. I did that last night with burger night as well. It's not, but it's it's a night of sausage and mash night. I mean, we never have it, and we never like literally. I don't think we've ever had a burger as well. Yeah, at home, like that was from... banging. No, calm down. Honestly, I really enjoyed that. God, you need to calm down. No, I'm really easily pleased. Like you use my mug. Yeah, because it's so big, it's like a gravy boat. Thankfully, Gigi is asleep because... Thank fuck for that. Oh my God, she was... She was out of She was about to be thrown out the window. No, she wasn't. She was. She wasn't, but she was annoying. Um, God bless her. Yeah, she is asleep. Thank the Lord, we're going to have a lovely evening, aren't we? Starting with sausage and mash. She'll wake up at about... Half seven. Half seven. Um, Needing to be feed again because she is a monster. She's just a beast Honestly. with milk at the moment. Poor Chelsea had to get up at 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 yesterday. And she needed feeding every time. And just even during the day as well, she's constant. Anyway, you could basically feed her 24 hours and she still wouldn't be happy. Pretty much. So we're going to enjoy our evening and we're going to sign off this week's vlog here and now. Um... It's been another random video, but I need to stop saying that really because every single week it's going to be random because life is random. I haven't forgotten and I'm not ignoring the fact that we didn't actually do go to that car seat fitting today, but we didn't do that on purpose. I was telling them on the vlog all about it the other day because a lovely lady got in contact with us who is a car seat specialist and I had a conversation with her and between Goldie's height, weight, centile and our specific car and um, this lady recommended us like the perfect car seat which to be honest which was the one that I thought I was going to go for anyway the car seat is on its way but it will be in next week's vlog so the car seat situation is going to roll on to next week's vlog um which I'm really excited about really really excited about so I haven't forgotten about that talk topic um but yeah we're just going to go into that more next week I'm going to have more sheen orders next week coming through because the one yesterday was probably about a third of what I've ordered, which is absolutely ridiculous. Can't wait for that. I sent back all the returns today as well. It's so quick and easy, to be fair. Um, Ian's family is coming down next weekend for Easter weekend. Um, although I'm probably not going to vlog a great deal of that. Maybe like little bits of You are. I don't want to shove a camera in their face, you are. poor sod. No, you are. Tell them to shut up and get on with it. You can tell them that. Then. Oh, I will. Um, no, but yeah, really looking forward to seeing them because it's been a long time, hasn't it? Otty will love it. Yeah, Otty will love it. Otty, will Otty love and Goldie it. together again. You actually need to write your mum's Mother's Day card out. I will. I don't know why Chelsea thinks like thinks it's bad. I, I think, think he I... should have written the Mother's Day card, sent it for when his mum got home. But I don't. But he thinks that he wants to hand it to her better. face to face, which I get. But when you live this far away, that's not always possible and it's not mother's day anymore so it's kind of like no it doesn't matter okay it doesn't matter it's just it's, a, it's, it's just a card from my mum to tell her how much i love her yeah okay that's fine 
And your mum won't mind it. because she adores you. And and now I'm a favourite. <laughs> Ian's one of three and he thinks he's the favourite. You and your mum are like two. Okay, peas in I the care pod. about my mum more than Captain and Michael. How do you even know that? We're gonna love you and leave you. Thank you again for watching. What do they need to do? Subscribe. Fuck you. There we say. go. Jesus, See. if you didn't know that by now, two eyes. See. <gasps> Please subscribe. Um my dinner's cold. Ta -ra. Love you. Ta-ra. <laughs>